Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to add sheets or more specifically worksheets with a name in Excel using VBA macros. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor and we can simply add a sheet with sheets.add and if we add a space we get to add the parameters so we can add the sheet before a particular sheet, after another sheet. We can also set the number of sheets we want to add or the type of sheet. The type of sheet applies to sheets because there are basically two types of sheets in Excel. So for sheets, the type can be a worksheet and that's the default or a chart or chart sheet if you will. But to add a chart, we would rather use the chart object, charts.add. But I've covered that in some other video. I'm gonna leave the link up here. You can check that if you want. The other way we can add a sheet or worksheet is with worksheets.add. And that works in the same way. We can also set the parameters before, after, count, and the type here doesn't really matter. It's gonna be a worksheet. There are actually other types of sheets that were used in older versions, but I'm not gonna get into that. Now, if we want to add the sheet with a particular name, we just need to say dot add dot name. And this would add a sheet with the name we want. Let's say we want to add a worksheet here with the profit of the sales and that would be worksheets.add.name equals profit. If I run this macro as you see we've got a new sheet here and it is here and as you see it has been added by default before the active sheet which was sales so it has been added here. Now we can specify where we want to add adding the parameters here in parentheses. So we can say add before or after. Let's say I want to do it after the products sheet. And as you see here on the left, that's sheet two or the sheet with the name product. So we can actually say sheet two or we can use the name with sheets products and we have to close the parentheses. So there are actually two parentheses here. Now, instead of profit, let's, let's call it totals or something like that. If we try to add a sheet with the same name, it will actually prompt an error. Now, if we play the macro, we see we've added the totals sheet after products, which was sheet two. You cannot see that here, but if we go back, you see we've added totals after products. And you can use the before parameter in the same way. Now, we've been using worksheets, but we could do exactly the same with sheets. So that would be sheets.add, and then in parentheses, we would specify if we want uh, the before or after parameters. And let's say we want to have a new sheet now before, and now let's choose the sheet object name. So let's say we want to have it before totals, which is sheet four. So we would use sheet four and then with the name, um, whatever other sheet, for example, right? Let me, let me comment this one here. And now if we run the macro, we're going to have a new sheet with the name other sheet before totals. So let's go back to our workbook. And as you see, we've got the other sheet, a new sheet before totals. Now, sometimes we just want to add the sheet at the very beginning or rather at the very end. So after the last sheet. And to do that, we can simply do sheets.add or worksheets.add after sheets. And here we're gonna use the index before we've used actually the name, but we can also use the index. And to add it after the last sheet, we're gonna have sheets.count. That's gonna count the number of sheets. In, in this example, we have already four, five sheets. So this is equivalent to writing here number five. So after sheets five, after the last sheet. And then we need to close the other parentheses. And if we want to have a name, we can simply add here another name. Let's say this is the last sheet. Now, if I comment this line here and I run this piece of code, as you see, we're gonna get a new sheet here called last sheet and is exactly 
right at the end after the last sheet in our workbook. So that's how we add sheets or more specifically worksheets with a name in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.